Hi, this is Shannon Marie of Raw Adorable here with my lovely daughter Hayden, who insisted right before I turn on the camera that she needed to have a spoon. We, I gave her a gigantic spoon and a bowl, which I thought she was just going to play with, and then she had to have it filled with some freeze-dried strawberries. Um, so she may be busy with that during this. Uh, today we were going to talk about um, this Today I Ate a Rainbow Kit that I had sent to me. Um, but first, we're going to keep with the rainbow theme and make a raw vegan rainbow cupcake inspired by um, a uh, non-raw version on the Ingredients for Life site that I saw. And I'll, I'll put a link to that. But we'll make that first since our hands are clean and we're ready to go. Don't want to be touching all of that until we're done. So what I did ahead of time was I put about let's say like a heaping quarter cup of uh, coconut flakes and a heaping quarter cup of cashews um, into my food processor and grounded them in grounded them down so they'd be fine like a flour and then I divided it into four containers so that I could make four different colors I put a whole bunch of lemon zest and turmeric into this one and uh, ground it up again so it would blend real nice and then I put orange zest in this one along with a little more of the turmeric and then I put a little tiny bit of carrot juice just to give a little more orange color um, in this video it probably looks like the same color though but if you see it in person it does look different I put some of the freeze-dried strawberries like Hayden has here into the pink one and the green one has some lime zest for flavor and color as well as um, I put a little bit of green powder in it as well so we have the different ones here and then we have um, some date paste that I made up. And we're not doing exact measurements on this because we just kind of, um, whatever gets it to stick together. I usually put, for this amount total, it would only be like a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put just the tiniest little scoop, enough to get them to stick together. Hayden, you were gonna help me with this, but it looks like you're busy. So we're gonna put this here. Mmm, mm, it's delicious, huh? Oh, I know, good. that was your word in our last video. So we'll start with, we've got a little blue cupcake liner here. So it's like a nice sky background. We're gonna use a fork because we're working with such a small amount that I think our other technique with the uh, whisk or um, like a handheld blender or something would just be a little too much. So we're just going to try to scooch it all through. This way you do it with the fork because you mix it up kind of like the whole thing like if you were making a pie crust or something and you don't want it overly mm. dense. You want to still keep the lightness there because this is a cupcake. So we're going to do that with each one of these. So that's pretty good going along for our yellow lemon. Actually, I think, what do you think? Should we put the green on the bottom? We should probably put the green on the bottom. So. Let me mix the green next. So I'm going to mix this up. This video gets too lengthy. I might stop it after we're finished our cupcake and then do a little review on the Today I Ate a Rainbow thing separate. Something tells me this is going to take a little longer than I thought, even without me uh, showing you how I made the different colors on video. I just seem to work slower on this video for some reason. All right, so we've got some of the green. Let's get that going. You see the green? Hayden, are you paying attention? What color is this? What color? Green. Green, very good. Very good. So we've got the green together, and we're just going to mold it down in the bottom of our cupcake liner just to make our green layer. And make it kind of flat like a disc. Mommy, I want. You want some. We're gonna go ahead and we're making a cupcake, so we gotta put it all in the liner. So we're gonna put some of the yellow in next. I think I might let you help ice. What do you think about that? Would that be a good idea? You ate all the strawberry. I actually have some wet uh, washcloths here to be ready for it. Okay, so we put what color? That was yellow. Yellow. And what color am I mixing now? What? No, not the red. Which one am I mixing? Do you know? Green. Yeah, the green's on the bottom, and then it was yellow. After.
after this one, I'm going to do red. So what's this one? Strawberry. Yeah, that's strawberry. This color is... Blue. It's not blue, you silly goose. That's the liner. This one is... One more shot at it. I'm going to have to tell you. It's the same color as this washcloth. What color is this? Washcloth pink. I would think you'd cooperate more for my video, but of course not. This one is orange. So we're going to put the orange down in, into the cupcake liner. Mine's not going to be as pretty as the I'll fake try this. version. I'll try this strawberry, Mommy. But I'm try this. We get the idea. So we put the little orange down. Mommy, try my bowl. Try what's in your bowl. Yes, try it. There's nothing left in your bowl. Are we pretending? What are you pretending is in your bowl today? Strawberry. Strawberry. I make you. Oh, you mix it up. I don't think it's gonna work with the spoon though. We are putting. Mommy. We're mixing. Yes, Hayden. Wait a minute. Wait. Uh, 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 uh. Not with the one you ate with. You know this is gonna end up being your cupcake then. Is that how you stake your claim? what you usually do at home. There's a, ooh, that's the other way she stakes her claim. With the That's It fruit bars that we did the video for the other day, she made sure to like open some and grab them and take a bite out of them. And mommy. of course she claims them as hers when that happens. Mommy. Oh, oh, mommy. Oh, oh. You wanna see that? Is that the book that we read? That set comes with the cutest little book. Can't wait to tell you about that. Are you mixing it up too? Here, back up. You can have this one. You want that one? And we're going to put the last little bit of pink on top of our rainbow colored cupcake. Pretty cupcake, huh? Oh, and I forgot to tell you, I did reserve some of the crumb to the side before I added the date paste for sweetness and as our binder. So that's sitting to the side after we do our icing part. The icing? Are you paying attention? All right, wiped my hands off. And then we have some icing, just the basic raw whipped icing that I usually do. I have on the site. It's also in my ebook. Um, it is Cafe Gratitude's recipe, which I always make mention of that, that they were so nice to let me put it in my ebook, um, which is why I don't always type it out because it's not officially my recipe. I like that. I know. We just going to do a quick icing. Mommy. So we had some of this left over from the last time we did cupcakes. And it was in the freezer. And you can put it in the freezer and it thaws out really well. It has an odd color this time because the last time I did it, because I'm trying to get away from agave. I mean, I still use it from time to time, but I try not to use it as often. I actually put date paste in in place of the agave You're as done. a sweetener. And so it gives it a little bit of a different texture. And it also, I told you you were gonna ice. What am I doing? Um, the color is a little bit more of a cream instead of a white like it normally is. So we're nice and pretty and iced on top. And like I said, we left some sprinkles to the side. You wanna put some of the sprinkles on top? Okay. Okay. So we put some to the side. Actually, I put some to the side and I also kept some of the zest. So that's where the green is actually zest. Whoa, that's a lot of zest. All right, that's enough zest. Okay, okay. Oh, we get the idea. Let's put a little bit more pink. No, do the pink. Do the pink, just like this, just to kind of bring it together after you did that. All right, is it done? Is it pretty? Do you like that? What do you think? Is that, is that our rainbow cupcake? That's our pretty rainbow cupcake, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to stick that to the side while Hayden's playing with all the sprinkles. Hayden loves to sprinkle. It's like her pixie dust. If you look back at our old um, Tinkerbell doll cake video, we show you how we do our pixie dust. Basically the same thing as this. Anyway, so the Today I Ate a Rainbow Kit is really cool. It came in this package. Um, it's from, I believe her name is Kaya Robertson, and she has this Today I Ate a Rainbow website. I'll do a link to that on my blog. And this cutest little daughter, um, Hannah.